All right. Thank you. Thank you, Nelly, for introducing me. And thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, I, I know you've been here for a couple of hours already. And, and so I'm, I'm going to try and make it as a little bit interactive as possible, but as interesting as possible. Um, I would like to thank you all for, for being here. Um, those that are in the Zoom room with us and, and those that are listening via the live stream. Um, as uh, Dr. Nelly said, I've been working on artificial intelligence and in particular on generative AI uh, for quite some time now. And um, I've also been looking at uh, blended and online learning um, and thinking about rapport building. So uh, today I'd like to speak about using artificial AI to establish and maintain rapport in online and blended learning environments, and that through enhancing connection, engagement, and support. And um, as indicated, I am Karen ferreira Mayers. So um, when we look at rapport, we think of mutual trust, we think of respect, we think of connection, uh, in particular between us, and then I'm calling all of us the educators, and of course, our learners. And, and why do, should we focus on rapport? Because uh, good rapport enhances motivation, engagement, engagement uh, and studies have shown that it also enhances retention and overall academic achievement. So it's a, it's a friendly relationship that uh, we build uh, in a classroom environment, whether it's virtual or whether it is face-to-face, uh, and it is uh, related to the ability to relate to others in a way that creates trust and understanding. So rapport in education uh, can be defined as a harmonious, sympathetic relationship between people so that we don't get to uh, some of the issues that uh, the presenter before me, uh, Dr. Dipaki, talked about, you know, where we need to uh, start looking at ways to enhance our wellness. Rapport is an essential element uh, when we think of education as humanistic. It creates a safe, empathetic, collaborative environment. And so it is even more crucial in an online learning environment. Remember, uh, one of the criticisms leveraged against uh, blended and online learning is that um, the, the human aspects are kind of lost behind or uh, because of technology. So I'm going to be asking a couple of reflection questions, and I hope that you, maybe you can put your thoughts uh, in the chat um, so that we can have a look at them later on, or you can just be uh, chatting and, and building rapport with each other. So my first re reflection question is the following. How would you personally define rapport based on your own teaching and or learning experience? So that is my first reflection question, and I'm looking forward already to seeing what your responses will be. So we've talked about mutual trust and respect, where students now feel safe to take risks, ask questions, make mistakes, because we learn also through making mistakes. And that goes for the student, it also goes for the teacher, and the teachers demonstrate respect for the ideas coming from the students, for their backgrounds, but also for their efforts. And they acknowledge the challenges students uh, can face and uh, try to provide support when needed. So rapport has to do with open communication, where everybody feels comfortable sharing ideas, um, voicing out opinions, asking for clarifications, expressing concerns. It's some kind of personal connection uh, where people, all the stakeholders uh, within the learning environment are seen as individuals, individuals with lives that go beyond the classroom. And we then start showing genuine interest in their well-being, in their motivations, in their aspirations. And that then brings about a positive learning environment, supportive, inclusive, 
where the learners are motivated to engage with the content, with the material, but also to participate in discussions and to collaborate with their peers. So it is all about empathy. It's all about understanding, care, and compassion. So why does this now, this rapport, matter in an online uh, class situation? There are many studies that show that rapport reduces student isolation and disconnectedness. And especially in this uh, world where we operate behind screens, we uh, use mobile phones to do everything, the idea of being disconnected is uh, a crucial one. So we want to connect with the person on the other side of our uh, phone screen, of our laptop screen, of our desktop screen. It enhances student motivation and engagement, and it creates a sense of community. In that way, it humanizes the online or digital environment, and it promotes a more active participation. And learning happens when we are actively engaged, actively participating, actively constructing um, knowledge and skills. And of course, it supports emotional well-being. And I think after the talk we just had, that point resonates strongly with all of us. Um, you've got a very busy couple of slides uh, where I have just put some of the recent research articles uh, around rapport. Um, you can see uh, 2021, 2024. Uh, you can see titles that look um, at positive consequences of teacher-student rapport, establishing rapport in higher education, uh, teacher caring, teacher-student rapport, uh, the strategies to build and maintain rapport, uh, and, and also the communication style uh, and student engagement in online environments. So these are very useful articles to, uh, to read and, and refer to uh, if you want to dig a little bit deeper. A couple of months ago, um, I did a study with a, a colleague of mine, uh, Dr. Arfa. Uh, we looked at um, colleagues who were teaching in a blended and in an online environment and asked them whether they had different strategies for building rapport uh, 